everybody, my name is Swimdo11 here, and welcome back to the rest of World 2 for Super Mario Bros. DS. Last time we talked over World, the first half of World 2, and now we will be going over the second half. The second half of the levels to me are more interesting per se, don't get me wrong, all these levels seem interesting for the most part, but I don't know, the idea of jumping blocks and having new enemy types here is really amazing. But yeah, we have living blocks of entities with blue shoes. I don't know what they're about, but yeah. Uh, so right off the bat here, we will be coming back for this uh, first star coin a little bit later, unless I actually got it. I guess that will be the second one, but either way, uh, in today's episode I wanted to talk more about uh, why this happened. So, look, uh, when Super Mario Bros. was being made, uh, we really didn't have another 2D Mario game. In the Game Boy Advance series, uh, well, let's just say they had ports and everything, so it's been a long time since just having a, just a simple new Super Mario Bros. game here. And, for example, we'll be coming back for that second star coin, do not worry, we will be back for that later. I completely screwed it up by having him at the bottom, but as I was saying before, uh, yeah, because we didn't have a, uh, technically an original game on the original Mario game on the Game Boy Advance, or, yeah, basically the Game Boy Advance, and it was just a bunch of ports, uh, yeah, we honestly thought it was the end for, uh, the 2D scroll things, because after that, we eventually got, a uh, Super Mario Bros. DS on the DS, but, yeah. And then to just title it that it was back, it's completely new and everything. Showing new additions to Mario's moveset, as well as, well, just his moveset for the 2D at least. But, yeah. Um, yeah, then we got, this is what we got out of it. If I had to say something, this had to be, if not the most creative uh, Nintendo has been in a while. But... Yeah, there's the first first level down. No problems except for that one star coin, but that's just because I botched the enemy plot one. We will be getting him soon. So a bit time has passed by. I got hit hit again and we grabbed the star coin. Uh, as for another thing, we got a uh, interesting concept coming up soon. Uh, to the castle, which we will get to after our final level here. Uh, so, I, I, first of all, I thought there was a secret down there, but this one had me starstruck. How do you make a desert level not boring? By having it in the air. Look, I don't know if this is reminded to anybody, but... This reminds me of Super Mario Bros. 3 so much. I don't know why, but it reminds me of Super Mario Bros. 3 so much. I love this level, or at least the aspect of, of the things and everything. Um, but yeah, just give me one second. Sorry about that, I just had somebody at the door. But as I was saying before, this level is very, very, really nice to look at. I... I don't know why, but the clouds, just looking at the clouds are so memorizing and stuff. We also have a bunch of piranha plants here trying to kill us. And while this level would be pretty easy with the fire flower, I kind of can't do anything about that at the moment because I kind of miss the fire flower. And the piranhas are moving everywhere, as well as the platforms are also moving the piranhas. But... Honestly, this level isn't as bad as it seems. As long as you know the placement of the prana plants, everything is going to be fine. Unfortunately, I wasn't that smart. So, a little bit afterwards, I got a hold of the fi fire flower. And, yeah. There's not much to this level, but the music, the... The, the, the view, the music, everything, 
It's just really aspiring. As awestruck, I guess is the better word. But yeah, this little ride is coming to an end. It is an auto scroller, but honestly, this is one of the few auto scrollers I'm okay with. And then you even have a section where you need to jump with the platforms and everything. As well as you have a uh, Prana Flat uh, shooting a fireball. It's shooting a fireball. It's coming at you. What are you doing? <laughs> but anyways, uh, that was very close. But also, uh, there's one more fun thing. This is only the only time we see it in the level. But uh, if you didn't kill the Prana Plant, if you kept pi uh, piping on the thing, the plug, the Prana Plant and the plug would go go there. It's a weird, weird thing because I think this is the only time you see it in the level. It's super weird, but honestly, super unique at the same time. And with that level out of the way, we now have only one more uh, level to go through, which is the castle, but there is something very, very unique with this castle. If you haven't been noticing lately that uh, on the top not the top screen but the bottom screen basically uh you notice that there's a world three and a world four at first you think that oh the cannons might uh take you to the mysterious fourth world no they take you to the fifth world so wait a minute how do you get to the uh fourth world because so far it looks like you would go to world three well we'll find out very soon with that but as in the meantime here, I'm unlocking everything, because in order to get the full 100% completion, we need to make sure everything is unlocked. I also am going to test my luck with the green mushrooms again, and see if we can get some 1-ups and everything. And... oh, got the first one. And immediately stop. I do not care how long it takes, I will keep... Keep, I'm gonna keep doing the same strategy. I will keep doing the same strategy. It will eventually work. But, yeah. So, going on from there, uh, immediately, wait, before you get your head domed in by a spike ball, uh, the theme around this castle is spike balls. I hope you're into those because those are gonna be coming at you everywhere. They are gonna be the main obstacle. And of course, I got hit right away, so let's grab that fire flyer. Oh god, that was close. Yeah, by the way, don't backtrack, by the way, because those things that have the spike balls that have rolled by before, they will respawn, so do be careful. Though, I have to say this... Mmm, that, that was close, but I was going to say the power-ups so far have been kind of generous so far. And there's our first star coin. Ooh. Ooh, that that was close. A little ground pound for style. Oh, <laughs> uh, oop. Oh. There we go. Into the door. Halfway through. Should be at the midpoint here. There we go. Oh, bonsai bills. Okay. Weird place to be putting you, but welcome to the addition. Glad to see you back. Anyways, we're just gonna jump over them, and yeah. I do like their little animation of them just wiggling back and forth with their arms, like, steering, kind of... to indicate that they're, like, steering and stuff towards you. Ooh, spike ball. And get away from this. And... Oh, we're good. Oh, fuck, another big spike ball. God damn, they really like their spike balls in this level. Swing over that. Um, we actually do need our mini mush, actually, in order to get the third star coin. So we'll be back for that later because there is a good reason why I'm missing out on that. Because I will talk about that later. But let's talk about the boss. Another new boss. Let's see what World 2 has to offer us. So 
So, in World 2 here, we have this guy. He looks like type of like a mummy pokey, basically, but with the spikes. So, in order to us, for us to actually hurt and kill him... Oh, never mind. We just used fireballs. <laughs> but either way, that's the end of that, and we're on to World 3. You may have noticed that mini gap there, and probably are thinking, wait a minute. What about the World 4? So, as we're letting this play out here, um, we need to actually go back into the boss, actually. Not only to get the last Star Coin, but you also may notice that we actually are able to get to a Mini Mush. If I can actually get up here, because in one of these uh, question blocks, there is a Mini Mush, and that is what we need. This is another area if you want to grind for mini mushes it is possible. Granted, I would prefer World 114, but basically, now here comes the challenge. To get to World 4, we must fight this boss in mini form. Yup. I told you before that uh, Nintendo has, I don't know what their session with the mini mush was, but yeah, in order to get to World 4, and technically world six as well is we need to be well technically world seven but uh we need to be able to kill the mini bosses in it so yeah thankfully there's only two times we gotta use this towards bosses but fucking hell this guy was hard i j legitimately died so many times i cut it out because it was like 10 to 15 minutes of raw footage of me dying over and over and just backtracking back here again it really fucking sucked, but yeah, this guy is not easy, especially with Floyd Mario, but eventually I did get it, and after you get the key here, you'll notice that Mario does the same animation, the door breaks, but this time, as he's running down, he'll fall down in the gap, which then the sign will pop over to World 4. But with that all being said, guys, that is World 2, and next time, we will be taking on World 3. So with that being said, you guys have a nice day. See ya!